Afternoon everyone, this is Steve from the Whirly Bugger. Out here on the river today with some fine gentlemen. In the lower farmlands area of the river. Had a little storm pushing through here the last couple of days. It wasn't too uh, volatile on us yesterday, but nor today neither. But uh, pretty harsh yesterday in the upper river on Aaron. Rained all day up there, but produced a fantastic blueing olive hatch for them. We kind of expected the same down here, but our water temperatures are still ranging way too warm. Uh, I took it yesterday, 57 degrees in the afternoon during the rainstorm, so we needed around 52, 51 degrees to really get good blue wing fishing going. And today, overnight, they predicted some lows to be in the 30s, and uh, it was about 44 degrees this morning when I got out of bed. So, the water temperature had dropped about 3 degrees, but still not a really good blueing olive hatch happening yet in the, in the farmlands area of the river. Yeah, so just a heads up here. If you happen to be floating in Reinhardt down to Ringer, or past Ringer. Basically the start of the tree farm. There's a log completely blocking the main stem. Cannot get through it in any type of boat. You have to pull a taj right here. Come along the log and pushes you out. Yeah, so once you uh, clear this portage, then you're fine the rest of the way. But there is lots of debris, so row with safety. At the tail end of our stonefly hatch, the short wings. And kind of beginning stages of October caddis happening. So the month of October creeping up on us over the next couple of days. River temperatures will start dropping as the air temperature drops and we'll start seeing better hatches of, of mayflies in the afternoon. Water's in absolutely fantastic, beautiful shape. A lot of folks been contacting us about the rainfall. Just a quick reminder, the river's reservoir controlled, so rainfall typically does not affect the river in the fall time of the year. It will in the spring when we still have snow in the hills, in the foothills. It will affect the river flows, but right now, River flows are low. The lowest volume of water we've ever seen in the Clay Elm Reservoir at 5%. Probably con gonna continue to drop. And we're hoping for a good heavy snow year, but it is an El Nino winter, so predicted to be warmer. Hopefully we get lots of snow in the high country. So cross your fingers on that. As they uh, work on the Clay Elm Reservoir, bringing it low for uh, salmon, sockeye salmon, so they can work on the out migration pit. And also are looking to raise it two feet so they can capture more water. So. Salmon red right there. Water's important, of course. We need lots of water. There's some blue ones starting to come off here. So you know, nothing better in October than catching big fish on small flies. That's really what the fly fishing is in the fall is all about. 
for trout. There's tons of fun working over feeders, convincing them to take your fly. Double trouble here. So still lots of good fishing on the horizon. If you have any questions, give us a call at the at the pro shop. We'll help you out with whatever you need. Give us a call. I'd love to have you out for a day. Do some fall October trout fishing. Have a good weekend, everybody. Yeah. It's all over. <laughs>